Throughout the ages, life on Exmoor for many was a struggle against the elements. From the early hunters to the farmers of the Middle Ages, Exmoor mattered largely only to the people that lived and worked here. Then, in the 1700s, as an appreciation of art and literature gathered pace, the great poets and painters of the day started to take an interest too. Suddenly, landscapes were to be gazed upon as well as farmed, and the great outdoors marvelled at and written about. Percy Bysshe Shelley, Samuel Taylor Coleridge and William Wordsworth all spent time here on Exmoor. It was here that Coleridge found the inspiration to write the rhyme of the ancient mariner, and Wordsworth described Valley of Rocks as a beautiful work of nature's art. But most of all, Coleridge and his friend Wordsworth would walk and enjoy the sights and sounds of Exmoor, particularly around Porlock and Culburn Woods. And today, with the Coleridge Way recently extended by a 15-mile inland route from Porlock to Lynmouth, you too can follow in the footsteps of the romantic poets. Although Exmoor was now on the Victorian tourist map, not for the first time, a book changed everything. Built on local folklore and loosely based on a real set of characters, the novel Lorna Doon, written by Richard Doddridge Blackmore in 1869, captured the imagination of the nation. The East Lynn Valley became Doon Valley. Or Church and other locations featured in the book, and Badgery changed from being a deserted and neglected ruin to a cherished site that everyone wanted to visit. Since 1870, the book has never been out of print, and still today the area is known as Doon Country, and the valley remains a hugely popular place to visit and explore. Thank you.